Uh, my name is Axel Garcia Garcia. I am an associate professor in the Department of Agronomy and Plant Genetics uh, of the University of Minnesota. My workplace is the Southwest Research and Outreach Center. Most of what I do is related to sustainable cropping practices in the corn and soybean rotations. So the main thing is just to make a little bit of uh, background about this is that for conditions in Minnesota, we have very uh, short window opportunity for cover crops to grow in the corn soybean rotation. So as a result of that, what we are looking at is for technologies that might allow us to have that extra time so cover crops can produce biomass, which is the most important thing for the benefits we are looking at. Okay, so what we did is we are planting corn and after we plant corn, we are putting annual ryegrass in one side and crimson clover in the other side at along with uh, planting corn, then when corn is at V2, at V4, at V6, and V8. So we've seen and we've had, we have already some very interesting results. The first one is that you should never try to use cover crops, none of them, uh, along uh, planting cover crops along with the corn because you are gonna have your corn really heated very bad. So we've seen that corn yield is reducing more than 50% if you plant cover crops along with corn. That's the first thing. The second thing is that if you plant at V2 corn, uh, it looks like our pre preliminary results show that cover crops look much better. From V4 to V6 and V8, basically those cover crops, cover crops do not produce too much biomass. It will be a waste of money and time. So basically we don't suggest people to inner seed cover crops when corn is already at the V4.